We're going to start off with this. One of the more anticipated properties in years gone by that people were wanting to see come to the big screen was G.I. Joe. For a long time, people wanted G.I. Joe. And then, with Channing Tatum in the lead, they brought us G.I. Joe. Wah, wah. Anyway, then they thought, you know what? Let's kill off everybody from the first G.I. Joe movie and bring in Dwayne The Rock Johnson. And they did it, and it did all right, I suppose, but ultimately it still wasn't that good of a film. And G.I. Joe has laid quiet ever since. Now, a couple years ago, whispers started going around that the studio and Hasbro were kind of eyeballing maybe doing a Snake Eyes movie. And then that had a little bit of talk for a while. Eventually that went quiet. Well, it looks like they're moving ahead with the Snake Eyes film because right now it looks like they may even have their director in Robert Schwenke. Now, Robert Schwenke has done a couple of unfortunate movies like Allegiant. He's also done R.I.P.D., which is just one of the most brutal films you've ever seen in your life. That was with Jeff Bridges and uh, Ryan Reynolds. So R.I.P.D. And you think, oh my God, this guy's going to do Snake Eyes? Ah, but he also directed Red, which I think is amazing. And he directed this little international indie film that won a lot of awards called The Captain. That got a lot of people excited, a lot of people talking. This guy's had some bad films, but he's had some masterpiece films too. And they're talking about getting a Snake Eyes film going. What do I think about this? I'm a little bit torn. I'll admit I'm a little bit torn. On the one hand, this is consistent with what Hasbro movies have been doing, right? Like <clears throat> Transformers doesn't work? Okay, let's do kind of a spin-off relaunch of it with one of the side characters, Bumblebee, and we'll do Bumblebee. G.I. Joe doesn't work? All right, let's kind of do a spin-off relaunch with one of the side characters, Snake Eyes, and everybody loves Snake Eyes. Will they get Ray Park back to play Snake Eyes? Who knows? Fingers crossed. That would be cool if they did. So I can kind of see that there's some consistency with Hasbro's logic, and that's fine. But a part of me also kind of feels like, I don't know, man, you tried G.I. Joe. You tried, and it didn't work. Does that mean you should never do it again? Not necessarily. But is now the time to do another G.I. Joe thing with the snake eyes and all that kind of stuff? A character who does not speak, and you never see their face. Can you build a movie with your lead character and your title character who does not speak and you never see their face? I don't know. It's challenging. I mean, you kind of did half of that with Dread, right? With Carl Urban as Dread. You never, well, you saw half his face, but you never saw his eyes or anything like that. But there's a lot of dialogue. So I don't know. I, I don't know. I think. First of all, if you do a Snake Eyes movie well, it'll make a lot of people happy because people love Snake Eyes. But can you do it well? I don't know. What do you guys think? Jump down in the comments section. Let me know what you think about that.